Hey everyone, uh, this is Finding Value. I'm gonna go over some uranium companies that I hold in my portfolio. Uh, it doesn't mean that any, if, if you don't find a company that's on, not on my portfolio, it doesn't mean I don't hold it. I just went over the ones that I, that I like, uh, that I had, could get a lot of information on, uh, and the ones that I, I think are gonna do very well in the next cycle. There's also other ones that I think will do well that I do hold uh, that I just didn't include in here. So it's not that uh, other companies aren't good, it's that these are some of the ones that I, I like a lot. And we'll go through them uh, together right here. So uh, I've got the name, I've got market cap, reserves, if they're producing or not, how much debt they have. I've got dollars per pound, so that's market cap divided by the reserves that they have, and then the grades that they have of the reserves. So I think this is all important to, to analyze. So we've got Encore Energy. Uh, this was one that someone had recommended. Uh, looks pretty good because the previous management team of Encore Energy was uh, a team that had sold their uh, assets to someone else and made a lot of money. So it's the same team, uh, management team, uh, running Encore Energy as a previous company uh, that did exceptionally well during the last market boom. So Encore Energy uh, is a company that I hold. Uh, it is one of my larger positions. Uh, it's a market cap of only 48 million, so it's got a lot of upside potential. And I don't know how much you guys know about investing, but market cap is what expands. So if you're gonna do a 10X, if you're 10 timing, 10 times in this company, it means that your market cap goes up by 10 times. So you'd add a zero, it'd be a 480 million market cap if this went up 10 times. So market caps are usually, obviously the smaller they are, the easier it is to grow. If it's a very large market cap, it's very hard to grow it. Uh, a ton. They have 32 million pounds uh, in reserves. They're not producing zero debt. I like the zero debt. Uh, you're not paying a, a super high amount uh, for their pounds in the ground. It's a one, one and a half dollars, but they do have somewhat lower grades. This is a ISR and usually when they do ISRs in pseudo uh, recovery, uh, usually they're lower grades. So that's, that's the first one there. Fission Uranium Corporation, FCUUF, uh, that has 117 market cap, 117 million, which is still very small. Uh, reserves, 134 million pounds. That's, that, I like that. I like the reserves. Because when you go and we're going to have massive shortages coming up in the future, the reserves matter. Uh, because price matters. And if the price goes way up, your reserves are obviously going to become that much more valuable. And if you have more reserves, it means that the value of the company is going to go up that much more. So that's 134 million pounds, it's not producing, zero debt, which I like. Uh, it's only 87 cents per pound, extremely cheap. These are all cheap. Uh, the grades, 102 million pounds is at 2.1% and 33 million pounds at 1.22, not too bad. Next Gen Energy, NXE, uh, 650 million market cap, 529 uh, million pounds of reserves. It's not producing, does have some debt, 118 million in debt. Uh, dollar per pound, 1.22, very cheap. 256 million pounds at 4%, 181 at 18%, and 92 at, at 0.9%. These ones that are in the green up here, these are the, my biggest holdings. And the reason they're my biggest holdings is because you're paying less dollars per pound. They're... Uh, their charts looked pretty good. So that's another thing. Uh, furthermore, they've got the pounds in the ground here, these two, that I really like. And I don't. I like this zero debt here. That's also good. And Encore, in some of these companies, they have, and I maybe should have put this on there, they have large insider holding positions, which means that their management style and the decisions they make will align with their holdings in the company, which aligns you with them. So I like large percent insider holdings, which uh, ENCUF has. And some of these other companies have it as well. Uranium Energy Corp. Uh, this is a 209 market, you know, million market cap. They have 103 reserves. They're not producing. They've got 19 mil in debt and you're paying $2 per pound. Uh, but they also have very low uh, percent reserves over here. And there's a lot of different uh, areas that they have for reserves. It's not all in one area. So I own, I do own a little bit in UEC. Uh, I own a little bit in UUUU. They do like to dilute their shares, energy fuels, not a big fan of that. 
Um, market cap's 211 million. They got 119 million pounds. It's pretty good. They are producing. They got 8 million in debt, and they're gonna they're gonna extinguish this debt pretty quick. I think they're gonna do it in October, so they'll be debt free very shortly here. Uh, they've got a dollar 77 per pound. Not too bad. I, I didn't see anything on the percent of their uh, reserves, their grades. UR Energy, URG, uh, 80 million market cap, 35. A uh, million pounds is what I saw. Hopefully that's correct. Uh, producing, yes, they've got 11 million in debt. You're paying $2.28 per pound, uh, and they've got a grade of 0.07%. That's a ISR pro you know, program that they've got. And then I've got Camco. They're kind of the big leader here, CCJ. Uh, their market cap's $3.8 billion. Uh, they've got 830 million pounds in reserves. Yes, they're producing. They've got a lot of debt. Uh, over a billion dollars in debt. And the dollars per pound is $4.66 per pound, but they've got extremely high grades here. 176 million pounds at 15%, 392 at seven, 261 at 0.03, that'd be an ISR project, most likely in pseudo recovery. So we're looking at these. These are all mainly uh, Canadian uh, and or US. So this is, this is the majority is, is, is held in the first three up here. Uh, you're paying a lot less on dollars per pound, and that's what I think is going to be important to me. Doesn't mean that's, that's the only metric. Uh, I also think that, you know, it, Camco may be a good bet as well because they are producing and they've got a lot of, uh, of pounds in the ground. They've got some good assets. And I think these other small guys, you know, 80 million, 48 million, I mean, that's, they could go berserk. Uh, and another thing to keep in mind, and I don't know if it's 100%, I don't know how valuable it is if you're producing or not. If you go into that large of a deficit, it's really just having the assets at that point because someone will just buy you out. They'll buy you out, develop the asset, and then produce from it eventually, especially if there's that large of a deficit. So my strategy, uh, and it may maybe it aligns with yours, maybe not, leave comments in the section if you have a different strategy, and maybe I'll change my strategy, you know, reading your strategy, is uh, I want a lot of pounds in the ground, I wanna buy it cheap. And they gotta be producible pounds. And the Triple R project is real close to the, to the surface, it's very good for fission. Uh, and the Aero project that NextGen has is very good. And you can see by the grades too, the grades are pretty good, uh, especially NextGen's energy. So I think these are important and, and that's where I hold the bulk of my money is next gen fission. And I do have some in Encore Energy. Then maybe on a third, you know, a third of those position sizes are in these other ones below it. And I might pick up CCJ here soon because the chart's looking pretty good. And we'll go over that during a market update and I can show you what that looks like. So a lot of, of, of big moves could be coming ahead of us. Uh, we may have to be patient. Maybe it's a couple years out. But it could start moving now, and I think taking positions uh, over the next you know, six months, year, we need to start accumulating this stuff uh, if you haven't done so. This is finding value. Uh, hopefully this strengthens your portfolio and diversifies it uh, for the next bull market in uranium. Uh, and, and subscribe, comment, uh, leave, leave some, you know, rate the video up or down. Uh, let me know how I'm doing. Thank you.